Have you ever wondered the exact steps or the right steps that you need to take as a business owner to create content that is marketable and will get you visible on Pinterest and how that is different from all the other content you're creating? That's exactly what we're going to chat about today. So welcome friends. If this is your first time catching me, welcome to my channel. My name is Jen Dice. I am a Pinterest and marketing strategist with a side of mindset to help you align your marketing to your mission. And today we're going to chat a little bit more about Pinterest and the content creation. So when it comes to like getting your Pinterest content creation, your ideas and creating content to then publish on Pinterest, we generally start, it's a longer process a longer process, but we typically start with how do we create those ideas? How do we um, generate ideas that are going to go the mile or go the distance on Pinterest that may not be something that you would pull from other platforms just for repurposing? So this is where we're going to chat about um, a few things you can get started um, when it comes to creating content for Pinterest. Um, and in this video in particular, we're going to talk about like getting those content creation ideas set in the beginning and then what your next steps are um, to create content. So let's dive in. So the first thing I want you guys to kind of think about when we're talking about content creation um, ideas for Pinterest, my first tip for you is to make sure that you are starting with Pinterest. So this is where it's typically different. Most people um, will have Pinterest, they'll have their account and they'll say they're on Pinterest. But what a lot of times us as business owners do is we pull content from other sources and then we repurpose it to Pinterest. This can be a part of your overall strategy, but this is not in itself a strategy to grow um, for more traffic and more leads to your business or organically using Pinterest. This is a way to get, by repurposing your content, you do um, start to establish a presence on the platform, but I highly recommend that you start with Pinterest versus taking what you already have and figuring out how to shove it in the box that is Pinterest, if that makes sense. So the first tip I have for you today is um, starting with Pinterest. And when you're starting with Pinterest for your content creation ideas, um, start with the keywords. So typically with the clients that I work with, with the students that I um, teach, I recommend that um, once we do some groundwork and making sure that your business, your mission, your goals, and um, your mindset and everything is aligned to be marketing on Pinterest, then we dig into keyword research. And that keyword research is done on Pinterest so we can figure out who and what people are searching for on Pinterest and what keywords they're actually using on the platform. And that is the benefit from starting with Pinterest first because you really get in and you figure out what your people are looking for first. And then we start to generate content ideas and we start to create from a space that is going to serve the people that are actually searching for um, solutions to problems on Pinterest. So number one is starting on Pinterest with those keywords. If you um, open up your Pinterest search bar and just start searching in the search bar with some broad terms, Pinterest will kind of give you a drop down bar and they will tell you similar keywords of what people are looking for. And that's a great place to start figuring out keywords. And those keywords can lead to other brainstorm ideas of what you actually might um, create a content topic around a blog post or a, a blog post, um, a video, something along those lines. So number one is starting with Pinterest, using the keywords that you can pull from Pinterest to then use those keywords within your content. My tip for you for number two is to outline your content. So we've gone to Pinterest, we've done some searching on the platform, we have figured out what people are typing into that search bar, we know what they're looking for. And from that, we have an idea of what our blog post is going to be about, or what our video is going to be about, or what our podcast episode is going to be about. Because from this, if you start with the keywords first from Pinterest, you can then plug those into whatever your main um, pillar content creation platform is, whether that is um, written, which would be blog post, or blogging or blog post creation. It could be video. So if you have a presence on YouTube, if you go live in your Facebook group, um, if you just create from a video standpoint, and that is the, the main type of um, content you create, you can plug it in there. Or if you have a podcast, 
You can take the keywords that you're getting off of Pinterest and create an episode around that and then your talking points. So then you're going to take that keyword and you're going to outline your content. So for example, the video that you are watching today, the keyword that I pulled from Pinterest was content creation ideas. The twist that I put on that keyword was for Pinterest. So I'm, I'm angling this as content creation ideas um, for people that are looking to create content for Pinterest. So that is the keyword that I used. Um, and then from there, I bulleted out the talking points, which I'm going through with you right now in this video. So that is your tip number two is to outline your content. How are you going to intro it? What is the main takeaway that you want people to walk away with? And then is there a call to action at the end? Is there another video they can go watch? Is there, um, another opt-in that they can sign up for? What is that ending of that content and your call to action. So that is kind of your step or tip number two. Um, and then tip number three, I always recommend that you get into um, a creation mode that works best for you. So this is where, you know, if you're looking at tr truly trying to align your style with Pinterest, it does not necessarily mean you have to become a blogger where you're sitting down and you're writing these 5,000 word blog posts every week. You do not have to do that. Um, you can create in a way that works for you. If video is your main comfort zone, then take this, plug it into your video creation format and create a way. And then you can create you can pull the transcripts, you can pull a summary, and that becomes your written word that could then be published on your main blog and you could pull traffic to. Same thing with a podcast. If a podcast is your main creation channel, plug this outline into your podcast, that is your episode, and then pull the either the show notes, a transcription of the audio, and that becomes your blog post. The keywords do have to be relevant within the written form of the blog post so that it helps with your with boosting your SEO from Pinterest um, on the platform. But you do not have to create in a box. If you have a way that create of creating that works well for you, whether that's video, audio, or written, you get to choose. So that is why um, I love to teach people to make sure that you're creating in a way that really suits you so that you're able to, so it's more sustainable for you um, within your business over the long term. So I hope these few tips today were helpful on just some Pinterest um, content creation ideas and how you can get started using Pinterest versus just repurposing content. This is where we can really take and use the platform in a way that's going to help boost the content that you're putting out on your website, the content that you're putting into your videos, the content that you're putting into um, any audio or um, podcast episodes that you're doing. So you can really mesh both ways. If you um, are you doing like a YouTube strategy and you're pulling keywords and you're really trying to rank from a YouTube standpoint, then there's a creation channel and there's a strategy from a YouTube standpoint, but, and, and you can repurpose that onto Pinterest from a YouTube standpoint, but from a Pinterest standpoint, it's really making sure you go through these few steps and making sure you start with a platform that you want to rank on. And from a Pinterest standpoint, that means starting with those keywords and then making sure that you're creating content that is going to suit the people that are actually searching on Pinterest. So I hope this was helpful. Um, if you guys um, want to subscribe, you can please subscribe to this channel below. That means you will, you won't miss out on any new videos as I start to publish them um, for you guys. And then you won't miss any of the latest episodes and tips as they launch. And um, I will put a link below if we are not already connected. I do run a marketing um, and Pinterest community. So that link will be in the description below. And otherwise, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I will catch you next time on the next video. All right. Bye guys.